For more on auto sales and how big an issue the chip shortage is for the industry, let's bring in the head of one of the largest auto retailers in the U.S. and really around the globe. Earl Hesterberg is president and CEO of Group One Automotive. It operates a total of 184 dealerships in the U.S., the U.K., and Brazil. Earl, it's always great to have you here. How's business? Uh, couldn't be much better. As Phil just said, uh, demand is very, very strong. As, and is it strong across? You have a, a whole portfolio from ultra luxury uh, rides down to uh, the more basic standard transportation. Is one segment of the market uh, stronger than the other, than any other? Not, not really. Not really, Tyler. It's across the board and it's new and used. And it seems that, you know, as people come out of hibernation, the service business is going to come back strongly this uh, spring also. Yeah, and I would think that last year the service business uh, slackened as people just passed up on service or it became more costly for you as you had to go pick up, uh, deliver, uh, and sanitize cars. Uh, let's talk about your inventory uh, and whether your inventory is substantial enough right now to meet the demand, number one, and number two, what, if any, impact you're feeling at the dealer level from the chip shortage that seems to be restraining supply? Yeah, there's impact there. Our inventory is down probably a little bit more than 20 percent. Um, but, you know, the auto retail network is pretty uh, flexible and creative. We trade with other dealers. We trade within our group. We move used car customers to new cars and vice versa. So we're managing it pretty well. And, yeah, it, it's, it's a challenge, but overall, you know, it, it strengthens margins, and so many of our customers, particularly the pickup truck customers, are brand loyal. You know, a Ford truck, a Chevy truck, a Ram truck customer, um, you know, they're, they're going to stick with the brand. And we're, we're ordering from the factory, I would say, uh, special ordering more vehicles than ever. Yeah, once a Ram, always a Ram, I suppose, uh, <laughs> in many ways. Uh, let's talk a little bit about new versus used. Uh, number one is one stronger than another in terms of sale and in terms of inventory are you able are you able to have enough used cars uh, to sell to the people who want them uh, the, the struggle the struggle on inventory is almost the same in used uh, mm -hmm. as new it kind of goes hand in hand and uh, and so we're lucky as franchised auto dealers we're able to source uh, from our manufacturers off lease cars two and three year old lease cars mm -hmm. there's no reduction in those um, and then as new vehicle sales increase, which uh, you can see they're, they're increasing at the moment, we get more trade-ins. So between trade-ins and our connections with the auto manufacturers, we're, we're hanging on pretty well on used vehicle supply. But it's not easy. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, uh, sales versus leasing. Is one stronger than another mm -hmm. right now? Are people still, still doing a lot of leasing or are they buyers? No, they're still doing a, a lot of leasing, but I would say that's dictated uh, by the manufacturers, um, mm -hmm. by them, you know, offering uh, attractive programs, which is basically incentive spending. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, with these uh, low rates uh, in the market overall and, and high demand levels, they don't have to put as much money into some of those lease programs. And, and you'll, see, you'll see that some of these manufacturers uh, will be cutting back a little bit on incentives or moving them toward cars and away from trucks and SUVs. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.